Hey, BG, out of curiosity, have you ever looked uh, at Nix Vim on GitHub? Surely you wouldn't rewrite your config for it, but I'm curious about testing it out. I have not, actually, Labor. Could you send me a link? What? Nix Vim, a NeoVim configuration system for Nix. So here's the thing about this. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to be real. I think I like, per I like configuring NeoVim in Lua, as weird as that sounds. I am always down to see what you can do in the Nix language because it, there's a lot. There's a lot you can do in it. And like, honestly, I could easily be like, I could easily, you know, bite my own tongue, so to speak. And a really dope, you know, implementation is done with Nix Vim. You know, I, I don't know, like stuff like this, this is cool, right? Like make Nix Vim colors like this is nice, right? <clears throat> The disconnect for me with stuff like this is like, how does it work with other plugins? You know what I mean? Like, is this essentially just taking Nix and translating it to Lua? Is it actually exposing the NeoVim APIs so that these are like one-to-one -one translations? You know what I mean? So that's where, that's where it becomes a little bit, uh, like I become curious about this because like, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. And I, I haven't really shared this yet because I'm actually like working on content to educate with it more, but like build Neo Vim or wait, build Vim plugin is actually a Nix function that you can do. <clears throat> so you can actually like build your, your, your config as a plugin in Nix and then just like inject it into your config. <laughs> So you just write it normal Lua, you manage it like normal Lua, but then you, it's like, you know, it's an actual NeoVim or Vim package. And then you just, you know, you use that. And like, that's how I configure mine. So like my NeoVim configuration is completely separated. Like if you go to mine, right, you'll actually see that like, and by the way, Chad, if you guys haven't seen my dot files, I recommend checking it out. Um, <clears throat> is the bot awake? I actually don't even if you go to my dot files you'll see that like like I, I i know it seems like a lot but it's actually not if it like it's it's very simply organized for very good reasoning system is basically everything nix related so it's like my darwin configuration my nix os configuration stuff that's shared between both nix os and darwin so you'll see things like home manager right for example and stuff like that but then if you go to the top, you'll see one called config. And if you go in here, like not this, none of this is links, licks or uh, Nix, like dragon ball. Like it's a, like I've got like a, like wallpaper and stuff, <laughs> you know, but if you go to NVIM, you'll see that here is my whole, like, look, require the Alta for stream in it dot Lua or, you know, Lua, what can, go away, go away, go away. There we go. See? And so what I'm doing is like this folder, this NVIM folder right here, this actually gets built as a NeoVim plugin in Nix. And what do I mean by that, chat? I mean, like, literally, look, the Alta 4 stream dash NVim packages Vim utils build Vim plugin. So I'm literally, chat, I'm literally taking my whole NeoVim config, I'm building it as a plugin in Nix, and then I'm simply using that in my, <clears throat> in my Nix configuration. And so that allows me to, like, you know, have everything in, in Lua still and, you know, set everything up the way I want to, which is pretty neat. Right. So that's how I do it. Stuff like this, again, it's, it's really interesting, but I also just wonder like how far you can go with it. You know what I mean? Uh, I picked that up from your dot files too. Yeah. It's honestly, I think it's the best way of, of managing your, your, uh, Vim configuration in Nix. Okay, cool. Uh, I th although I have FOMO for lazy, why? You you technically already have it, Calface Dev with Nix. It's just it's all there, sitting there waiting for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll keep this open though. I appreciate you sharing that labor. Like, honestly, like if you go to mine, it's pretty much just all my pack, my plugins. <laughs> like it's just it's just a huge list of plugins, and then you can see here's my config at the bottom from the actual flake itself. Right, but like here, in my flake, right here. Wait, no, here. There we go. Um, and then I reuse it. Yeah. Yo, what's up, both Thug Muffin? How's it going, buddy? <clears throat>
I would encourage you to package them and add them to the Knicks, <laughs> the Knicks uh, package manager. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of them, dude. There's a lot of them here. Like, you'd be surprised at how many plugins are actually in Knicks. Like, um, uh, Vim plugins. Uh, I mean, Tree Sitter's there. Obviously, that one's a pretty big one, though. Uh, let's see what else is in there. Uh, float term is in there. Yep. Um, I mean, pretty much like, again, if we go back to my Nix configuration, <clears throat> so this one isn't, and that's it. That's so all of these other ones, like LSP zero, LSP config, Rust tools, Vim Nix, Vim Prisma, all of these. Actually, what's really nice about the Nix install of, of tree sitter. By the way, this is why I'm better than you. No, I'm kidding. Um, but one of the reasons why uh, the Vim install of Tree Sitter is really nice is because you can also use this little function called with all grammars, and it'll just install all of them. Like, you don't have to think about which Tree Sitter things you need. With this, it'll just install all of them for you, and then you just you get them all. <clears throat> I would put this into a Lua plugin and then again, just require the plugin itself. Cause it's, it's like, how do you debug this? You know, it becomes a lot more difficult to where you have to go to your, your, uh, Nix file, update it, rebuild. I mean, you have to rebuild anyways, but <laughs> that's funny. Make LSP shut up. Um, maybe this is a better example. Listen, like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not cool. I, I, I apologize if that's the vibe I'm, I'm giving off. That's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm just giving my, my feedback. That's all. Uh, default.nix. All right, we'll start there. Nix enable. So is this interesting? Vim alias, VI alias. So it looks like this is actually enabling Nix as well. You know what I'm saying? Cause if it's like doing no, 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 you're totally right. I just thought it'd be more of your take. No, no, it's cool. I dig it. Yeah, I super dig this. Again, like, there's so, there's things that I like. You know, I it, configuration as a DSL is always really nice. Let's look at completion. I mean, this is mostly Lua. A lot of this. But, like, okay, but see, that's not... Okay, so here's my question. Here's, here's my question. Let me go back to mine really quickly. So if we go to my dot file, oh no, this is my old dot files. Let me go to my new dot files. So if we go to my new dot files and we go to like config and vim languages, right? Right. How do I do something like this? Right. Like sometimes there's things that you want to programmatically accomplish in NeoVim, right? Like on attach. Yeah, see, I don't see any of that. Well, I guess it's the mappings. Okay, so they ripped out the mapping parts. I see that. Hmm. I mean, again, it, it every time I ask a question, like, and this is what I mean by like, this is just Lua. Because if you look at it like this, is it pretty much the same as this? Right, from a syntax and like, you know, it's just a dictionary at the end of the day. Oh, well, this is a list of dictionaries, but you get my point. Uh, huh. I will look at it. Normally, I really find myself interested in things when I start talk, like asking questions and then like it answers it. Like this is, is kind of doing, kind of. Again, not fully. To really test it, I would I would probably have to try moving my config to it you know what i mean I, you you have my interest you have my interest I'm, I'm definitely interested in giving it a shot i think i might let me let me just save this so that i have it nix vim yeah there it is oh whoa all right whatever that's enough for me to keep it 